Hey, so welcome back, and this is another daily code problem. So today it was called longest zigzag path in a binary tree, and it's a medium level uh, tree question where you're going to do exactly that actually. So you just want to find whatever zigzag path, and that's just you have to alternate between going left, right, left, right, or starting at right, then going left, right, left, right. So you just have to alternate between going left and right. And so the only other catch here is that you don't actually have to start at the root node here. This is an example where the longest path does begin at the root node, but it doesn't actually have to. You can see in this case where the output is three, and that can only be achieved by not starting at the root node. Okay, so it's actually started here, and that allows you to get three edges here. Okay, and so what we're going to give you is a O of n time and space complexity solution. So you just travel to every node at most once. And because this is going to be a recursive solution, we will have at most O of n on the stack. Okay, and so to do this, we're just going to return the result of a helper function that we're going to create. And here we're just going to pass in the node that we're looking at and then whether or not we previously went left. So we can kind of maintain, okay, do we wanna go right this time or do we wanna go left this time? And that depends on whether or not we went left or right last time. And then we just wanna maintain what the current depth of this path that we're considering at this current moment in time. Okay, and so the base case is, okay, if our root is none, so if there's nothing here, then let's just return our depth. And this just allows us to kind of propagate that result back to the top of the tree. And so what we're gonna do is we wanna return the maximum of this helper function. And we just wanna pass in two recursive calls to this, one where you start at going left and one where you start going right. So we can say, okay, we can either go left or right here. And so because this one's going right, then we say, okay, is it left? No, that's false, right? This is left here. So previously, do we go left? No, we started right. And then here on this side, we're gonna pass in true. And in Python, these have to be uppercase. And so next, what we wanna do is we initially have our depth to zero. And so that's just to show, okay, we're starting at zero at the root because we haven't traversed any edges just yet. Okay. And so from there, it shows an error, but I think this is okay. Turn the max of that root dot right false zero. Awesome. Okay, and so from here, why don't we go ahead and say, there's two different paths that we can go down. One of them is if we went left previously, otherwise we previously went right. So otherwise we previously went right. And so then at the end of this, we wanna return the maximum depth, which will be this. Okay, so we're just going to update this current depth with whatever is the maximum path that we can get from these two uh, paths that we can go down and we just return at the end. And so the first one is we want to set our depth equal to the maximum of either itself or we can recursively call itself. But this time, since we previously went left, next time let's go right. So we do root dot right and then is left, well, that's now the negation of it, um, is not is left. And so that will be okay. This will now be, since this is true, this iteration will now be false. And then we just want to increment our depth by one because now we're going down another node and so we just increment it by one. Okay, and so from here, we're going to do the exact same thing, but for when we go right. Awesome. And so now we want to go left this time. This is now true. 
and we still want to increment it by one. So there's one other case that we have to consider for both of these paths, and that's what will allow us to actually consider the case where the root node doesn't actually have the longest zigzag path, but actually like a node further down the tree. And we can do that by just simply performing another recursive call. But say if we previously went left, we can actually go left again, but we'll just reset our depth back to zero. Oh, undo, we wanna say true here because we're going left this time. So what this does is this allows us to do the case where, okay, it allows us to go right again after we previously went right. And so that allows us to consider the cases where, okay, say if the longest root path was like this node here, in order to get to this part and start here, you actually have to go right twice. And all you have to do is just reset back to zero in order to begin from there. And so that allows you to kind of start at this root node and to hop there by going right twice. Otherwise, you'll just be forced to go down this right-left path always and not be able to do like right-right and begin at this particular node. Okay, and so we want to do that exact same thing, but for the alternate case where we want to go right twice. Let's go ahead and run that. And yeah, so that's the algorithm. So it's a recursive solution with once again, O of n time and space complexity, because you're gonna go through every single node at most once. And at the worst case, the application stack will have n nodes, n number of nodes on it. So yeah, I hope that helped a little bit and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.